Brian Palavar on far here with Cassie Scalm before the 2015 Le Templier. How are you, Cassie? Real good. Uh, last time we chatted was after uh, your really good run at Lake Sonoma. Ah. What have you been up to since then? Uh, let's see, what month was that? That was April. April. So in May I had two races. So mm -hmm. I raced over in Australia, TNF Australia, and then uh, I raced the World Championship. 50 mile here in mm -hmm. France again, um, and they were really close together. They were only two weeks apart. Okay. And then um, later in the summer, well, I just spent the summer kind of having fun bouncing around to Hard Rock and to Western just to spectate and yeah. cheer people on, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, energized me for the fall, raced Squamish. You had a good run there. You won the 50 miler. Yeah. How did that feel? Good, especially since the year before I felt like it went pretty bad. So yeah. it's good to come back to a race and do a little better. Uh, you have another opportunity to do that. Yes. Uh, your your run at Le Templier last year was not up to no. your capabilities. Well, uh, what happened? Well, I was between ankle surgeries. <laughs> um, you still had the pin in at this point? Or? Yeah, and I was really hoping the pin would work out and just be the fix that I needed, but it was very painful the whole time it was in, so had to get that taken out. Uh, and that probably affected your training yeah. around that time? Yeah, it, training just never felt good, and it wasn't very fun, so... And in the race itself, were you just in pain the whole race, or were you just not fit, or what? I don't think I was very fit. Um, yeah, I thought that maybe taking a little bit of painkillers would have helped, and I could have gotten through it, but it, it just wears on you mentally, I think, mm -hmm. too. So that's where I was at. So then what brought you back here? Uh, the opportunity to come and do a little bit better. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how do you think you can do? Do you think, uh, like, what are you shooting for this weekend? Well, uh, last year I think I ran 8.36 as a time. And I would definitely like to improve on that. Mm -hmm. As far as place goes, I don't know. I mean, definitely be in the top 10 again, I hope. Yeah. But um, never know how it's going to play out. The conditions should be beautiful, like, uh, or should be great for running. Yeah, yesterday was quite a bit warmer, and today is cool but good running weather. So who knows? Could go well. Could go well. Um, this course, you now know it um, mm -hmm. in terms of it's flat in sections, it's steep in sections, it's rocky in sections. What, uh, what shoes are you going to throw on for tomorrow? Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, a pair of Salomon. Yeah. Um, what do I have with me? Um, you know, I haven't picked them out yet, so no. I'm not sure. All right. Um, has the races this year, like Lake Sonoma and Squamish, sort of given you your confidence back after having a pretty rough 2014? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel good about my running. I think I feel a little more relaxed about it, too. Um, it, it sucks to be injured, but yeah. uh, there's so many other things to do, too. Next injury, I'm planning on taking a pottery class. So. Oh, you've already <laughs> planned that out. <laughs> Something to... Yeah, but um, when I'm feeling good and I'm racing well, then every race is just a fun opportunity. So... You've really noticed a shift mentally in terms of like, do you just put less pressure on yourself come, having come back from the injury or what? what's changed? Yeah, um, it, I guess just kind of going with the flow a little bit more and um, even though these are amazing opportunities to travel to these great places and be able to run, uh, you know, it. everyone has their up days and down days and so just accept whatever tomorrow is. Nice. Well, uh, good luck yeah. out there, whatever it might be. Thank you. Yeah.